touch the bag with that jab, this hand is gonna also pop up as I make impact. Right, so we're kind of overcompensating here. So I'm going to talk about the jab. So the jab is a lot more than uh, it appears to be. Um, so if I were to describe a jab to you, it would be um, all the other words used for your combinations or anything that you would use to end a fight. So it's not really a jab, it's your, it's like a doorway to everything else that involves fighting. Um, but it's a really important thing to know how to do properly um, because if you can't master that, then you don't get to walk through that door and get to all the fun things. Um, so when I throw my jab, I always start from movement, right? It comes from your movement. It doesn't come from just standing here and throwing a jab. That looks silly, right? It doesn't work. So I always start in my fight stance, right? Whatever that may be, everyone has different styles. Um, and that being said, everyone has different styles of jabs. This is just how I was taught and this is how it works for me. So I'm gonna stand with my hips nice and soft, my knees nice and soft, my back foot off, or my back heel off the ground, right? So that I can move a little bit better, right? As one movement and I'm going to move. So you're gonna find your rhythm here before you throw your jab. You notice that my hands are active, right? This hand is nice and high. I am gonna mention that if uh, you're a little bit newer or if you do have problems with dropping your right hand, I would keep it touching your face. I did that for a lot of years before I got more comfortable with my active hands and my movement in my hands. Um, so for now, if you're new or if you do have problems with dropping this hand as you jab, keep it glued to your face because it's not worth getting a left hook to the jaw, right, over a jab, right? Not powerful enough to take that risk. So here, I'm moving. I can have active hands, right? I can do my fakes and feints, right? And we're just going to touch the bag. Now, as I touch the bag with that jab, this hand is gonna also pop up as I make impact, right? So we're kind of overcompensating here. So make sure this is active as much as this hand. Everything works as one thing. Again, when you're moving and you're practicing this, you can do your fakes and feints, you can flinch and then jab. You can use your head movement, practice that, change your angles where you're standing. Pop, you can change the cadence. All right, so you can go slow, fast. But I will say that when you throw your jab, try not to commit to them too much either, all right? Because if we're stuck here, then we can't move into all of our other um, weapons, right? So for example, if I were to throw a really hard and heavy jab, I wouldn't be able to throw my cross as fast, right? And I might get countered there. So a couple more times. I'm moving. This is just a playful thing to practice on your own. You can go high, low. Keeping the shoulder over. Good. And you should be able to practice that for hours on end if you really wanted to. Um, at least I can. Because it's more of a playful thing to practice. Um, yeah, just have fun with it.